everyone, it's Zach and Gus. We're back from GreatDaneCare.com. Today, we're here to talk to you about the most useful Great Dane training command that you're probably not using already. Now, if your mind jumps straight to common commands like sit, down, or come, those are all great commands. And they're, they're something that every Great Dane should know how to use. However, I don't think that they're always the most useful command. Now, thanks to their large size, you know, they are a giant breed, it's really helpful to be able to give those instructions about not only what to do, but where to do things. And that's where place comes into use. All right, so if you're not familiar with the place command, what it means essentially is that if I need Gus to, for example, jump in the back of the car to go to the dog park, place. Or if I need her to sit down at a certain spot on the back of a patio at a restaurant, or do anything where I need her to go to a specific place, that is the place command. Now compared to something like sit, where you simply tell them to sit and they do that on that single spot, place you can actually get the direction saying go place over there, and they know to actually go to that place, sit, and wait for the next command. All right, now place is a fantastic command. However, it's not the first command that I'd recommend starting with. You know, your, your Great Dane needs to master things like sit and come or recall before you work on place. But once you have those down, place is probably the most common one that we use with Gus here. Now, the way you teach place is to actually use a race platform. Uh, this really acts as a target. So that way, when you're trying to teach them where to go, that's the actual target that they're shooting for. It's really hard to play point simply to a spot on the floor or a spot on the grass and hope that your Dane knows exactly where to go. That's uh, so by creating a small race platform that gives them the very concrete areas to where they need to head to. All right, now while there's many ways to teach different commands, the way that I taught Gus how to perform place is very simple and straightforward. We'll take our given place, which could be a box you find at the dog park or one that you build at home or some other type of race surface. And Gus and I will put her on a leash and we'll stand about 10 to 15 steps away from that actual place that I want her to head to. Now, if they're sitting by my side, what I'll do is I will point directly at the spot. So pointing very clearly, hold the, hold the direction that you're pointing at and clearly say place. So you'll wait about two or three seconds. That way they have a second to kind of internalize the new command. And then on leash, you'll lead them up to that place and actually guide them on top of the platform. And once they're on top, you'll have them sit for a couple seconds. So this way they're not just hopping off immediately and thinking, woohoo, I completed the trick. I get a treat now. Now they actually need to remain in the spot. In the spot. Now, once they have completed the place, you can of course release them with an OK or whatever your other release command is, and you know go play with them, run around, and celebrate the successful execution of your first place. Now, of course, we'll repeat this time and time again, uh, just until she really gets a hold of it and learns the place command. And eventually, she'll learn that when you point and say place, you can actually allow them to be off leash, and they'll go run and jump onto that object on their own. Of course, you'll want to do this in an enclosed area where it's safe to be off leash if you're if you don't have a strong recall or it's not allowed. Um, but as you grow with time and experience here, you can stand further and further away from the object and point and give them the clear direction and have them run and jump and either wait for extended times or just move the distance out to get more complex here. All right, so if you're still not sure what place means, let's go ahead and give you a couple examples of what this looks like in the real world here. All right, some common mistakes we see when people are teaching their Great Dane to learn the new place command. Uh, the first and, and most common mistake is just simply not being clear. Uh, so when you point, it needs to be a very obvious pointing and holding that direction saying, this is where I want you to go. And also speaking just firmly and clearly the single command, and that's place. 
So you don't need to say, come on, let's place, 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 place. Like all those things are just confusing your, your dog. You just need to have a very simple and straightforward command, which is place so that they know exactly what you want them to do. Uh, the second common issue is actually, you know, when you're really teaching these, you are doing a lot of guiding with the leash and not having a good firm leash control. So they shouldn't be running five feet away from you, going in circles and bobbing around. You need to guide them a straight line directly to that spot so they understand that when you see place and point, we're going right there. There's no detours, there's nothing else that you're doing. All right, the next mistake, and I already kind of hinted this, is once they actually are on top of that spot or the proper place, is they actually need to hold it. So it's not a quick touch and go, and we're out of here back to chasing balls or, or rabbits or whatever else it is. They need to actually remain there and for a couple seconds at least, that way they really understand that, okay, this is the completion of the trick, this is what I was supposed to do. And then last but not least, you need to actually release them with an okay command or something else, that way they know, okay, I'm free to go about, I can do something else, that way there's a clear break between the before and after of the successful place command itself. And of course, making sure you celebrate it with them so that they get all the love and the attention that they deserve for having done a successful place is certainly uh, encouraged. All right, so that does it for today. This is the most useful Great Dane training command that I find most people aren't using today, so I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like a little bit more information, you can find it over on our website, and that's greatdanecare.com forward slash place. Until next time, stay dainty, my friends.